Hello everybody, this video is on masses on the pulley system. When masses are hanging from a pulley system, they experience two types of forces, tension force and weight force. The tension force runs along the length of the rope for both masses and the magnitude of the two tension are equal because they share the same rope. The masses of course also experience their own weight forces equal to the mass multiplied by gravity. In this example, we are going to assume that the pulley and the rope are massless and that there's no friction between the pulley and the rope. To derive an expression for the acceleration of the masses, we can treat the two masses as a single mass. That is, its acceleration will be equal to the total net force acting on both masses, that is smaller m and big M, divided by their total mass, that's called the m total. To find the sum of the, all the forces, we need to identify which direction is positive and which direction is negative. Let's assume capital M is the heavier mass, which means this mass will accelerate downward, while the smaller m will accelerate upwards. Let's treat the downward direction as positive, which means over here the upward direction is negative. And because smaller m is accelerating upwards, this will give you a positive direction, which has to be consistent with the downward positive direction for the big M. If the rope for the big mass goes down by one meter, then the rope tied to the small mass must go up by the same distance, one meter. If we define the downward direction for the heavier mass as positive, then we need to define the upward direction for the smaller mass also as positive. This means that the downward direction for the small mass will be defined as negative. So the net force acting on the big mass will be equal to the downward weight force, which is positive, minus the upward tension force, which is going in a negative direction. Then we need to add the upward tension force acting on the small mass, which is going in a positive direction, minus its weight force, which is smaller mg. Then this is going in a negative direction. This is the total net force acting on both masses, if we consider them as one single mass. And we need to divide this by the total mass, that is capital M plus smaller m. In this equation, in the numerator, the two tension will cancel each other out because they are equal in magnitude. So this gives us capital Mg minus smaller mg divided by capital M plus smaller m. We can factorize out gravity in the numerator to give us the equation capital M minus small m divided by capital M plus smaller m bracket times by g. We can better understand this expression for acceleration by assuming that one of the masses is zero, that is, if this system only had one of the masses. If the small m is zero, then the numerator and denominator becomes capital M divided by capital M times by g, and this is simply equal to g. In other words, if the system has only one of the masses, the acceleration simply equals to the gravitational acceleration, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, let's look at a scenario where the masses are equal. So if big M is equal to small m, how does that modify my equation for the acceleration? Well, in this case, the numerator will become zero, and the denominator will become 2m times by g, which means the acceleration of the system is zero meters per second squared. This should make sense because if the two masses are equal, then they will both experience the same magnitude of weight force, that is small m and capital M. If the weight forces are equal, then the tension that's due to the weight force will also be equal in magnitude, resulting in a system where the net force is also zero. When the net force is zero, the masses are described as being in equilibrium, which means that their velocity will not be changing, hence why they have no acceleration. Let's use this equation we've derived in a scenario with actual masses. We've got two masses, one weighing 5 kilograms and another weighing 10 kilograms, hanging from the pulley. What is the acceleration of the mass and the magnitude of tension that the two masses are experiencing? So capital M in my equation represents the heavier mass and small m represents the small mass. So the acceleration here equals to 10 minus 5 divided by 10 plus 5 times by 9.8. And this gives a value of 3.27 meters per second squared. This means that a 10 kilogram mass will accelerate downward at 3.27 meters per second squared, 
while the smaller mass will accelerate upwards at 3.27 meters per second squared. What about the tension? Now that we've found the acceleration, we can use this value in the force equations for either masses to find the tension experienced by them. The 10 kilogram mass experiences a downward weight force equal to mg and the upward tension force. The net force acting on the 10 kilogram mass will be given by its mass times by its acceleration. This is given by Newton's second law. And this is the sum of the two force vectors acting on it. So the downward weight force minus the upward tension force. Remember that here I am defining the downward direction as positive and the upward direction as negative. Capital M is 10, so 10 times by the acceleration, which is 3.27, equals to the mass times by the acceleration due to gravity minus tension. So tension equals 10 times 9.8 minus 10 times by 3.27. This equals 65.3 newtons. This concludes the video of masses hanging from a pulley.